Well, it's been six months since Sacramento deputies shot and killed Hyman at Uncle. That's right. His wife had called 911 asking for help, saying her husband was having a mental breakdown. His family says he was threatening to kill himself before he was shot and killed by deputies. Now they, along with families of other men killed by law enforcement, want the departments to change how they respond to these mental health crisis situations. ABC 10's Monica Coleman joins us now with what their loved ones would like to see happen. Monica? While the rain did not stop these families from coming out to the Board of Supervisors meeting that's happening right now to make their voices heard, before the Board of Supervisors meeting, we spoke with the family of Sherano Stingley, of Naran, uh, Jaime Naranjo, and also Daryl Richards. They all say they are going through the same journey of hurt and pain as they're waiting for more justice to be served when it comes to their loved ones dying while in the hands of law enforcement. During the press conference before the Board of Supervisors meeting, they asked and demand three things. Funding of a 24-7 mental health response program, which they would like the sheriff to not be a part of. Increase the pay for emergency mental health workers and demand the sheriff release all the footage, personal belongings and documentation in Aranjo and Stingley's case. We asked them how the death of their loved ones has impacted them today. I have two other sons and I'm afraid every time they go out, even walking to the store, I'm afraid because my son got murdered by people who's supposed to protect and serve. My kids miss their grandpa. We wake up crying for him. I see men on the street and I think it's my dad and I, I realize like it's never going to be my dad. I have to live with him calling my name before he dies. That is not okay. I will never be okay of him asking for my help. He was supposed to protect me and I have to protect him now. I am his voice. It is, it is important to note part of the body camera footage has been released of both encounters with police. In Aranjo's case, he can be seen in the video covering his face and swinging a machete around while his wife is on the ground, leading the deputy to fire at Naranjo several times. In Stingley's case, the sheriff's office told ABC 10 they ha are not required to put out any more of the video, but if they will, they'll let us know, but at this time they don't plan to. And again, the families are right now at the Board of Supervisors meeting demanding more from the county leaders, and they say they're not going to stop until they feel justice is served for them. Back to you. All right, that's Monica Coleman. She is in uh, downtown Sacramento. Monica, thank you.